So, very good morning to you all. So, you are all welcome on behalf of Bishop Bharati Library Network as well as the Central Library. So, for, uh, sorry for the uh, delay because, as you know, as you informed, then one parallel session by UGC on yoga already going on. That's why we are unable to start our session in time. So, as you know, today is the last uh, session of uh, Summer Connect uh, program on academic skill development program. So this is the consecutive four days program in hybrid mode. And uh, as you know, Bishop Bharati Library Network and Central Library organize such kind of research session throughout the year, uh, basically twice in a month. So, and we will uh, arrange another special session on uh, July. So we will announce in time. So without uh, wastage of time, Today, I am handed over uh, to the speaker. As you know, today's topic is similarity checking to deal with, with the new guidelines and added uh, features. Because uh, deal with and the PDS, plagiarism detecting software, is a very burning issue today. And few days before, Bishop Bharat University and all the central university faced one burning problem for the usage and few other guidelines. And we overcome the uh, we overcome the problem somehow, and our today's speaker, none other than the uh, librarian, sir, Dr. Nimaichan Saha, he's the master of the uh, research eth ethics, and he's the renowned speaker at present in allies in different disciplines, basically in the research ethics and the plagiarism and so many issues. So without wastage of time, I am handed over uh, to the mic to Dr. Saha for delivering his today's uh, speech on uh, similarity checking through drill bit. Basically, if you added feature after overcoming the, our uh, problem few days before, hope you are all aware with our notification, which is available through our university website to show how to handle this PDS software and what kind of measure we have to maintain for smooth running of this uh, uh, PDS software through Shodh, uh, Shuddhi by the ESS platform. So now platform, so uh, actually, uh, may I request uh, coordinator ma'am, Dr. Shahbad Naushin, in charge of the Rabindu Hamana Library, to just uh, introduce just a few lines on our today's in-house speaker. Excellent. Just a uh, few, uh, one or two lines. Please, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you, Koshikda. Uh, we are fortunate enough to have our speaker, Dr. Nimai Chan Saha, the librarian of Shivati, with us for a uh, discussion on drill bit. He is uh, very popular in this field and he needs no introduction. So, would I like to? So, may I request our university librarian, Dr. Nimai Chan Saha, to please start the session. Probably, but not least, the session of Fourth Day Summer Connect program for the first time in Vishwabharati. And so far, I know this is for the first time in any Indian university in particular. And I don't know what about the international scenario. Uh, basically, it was our thinking that during summer, most of the academicians, it is expected that they will be with their remote location or residential place or their family like that. But the research, as you know, is a kind of uninterrupted journey of any academic issues. And therefore, the scholars are working by their own on their own position, academics residing at their own position, library is their own position, rather say at the campus. So if I'm talking about the just five, six years back scenario pre-pandemic days, more specifically or categorically during the physical environment when ICT was not in the uh, extent level in the field of academia, that time it was all lock and key. Communication was not there. Only one scholar sent a file to the uh, guide through mail. That's all. If guide is found sometime, then he may edit the file and send back the 
candidate. But as nature is the best teacher, and this is the bad, uh, not bad sector, rather good sector of the pandemic days that we are much aware with the technology, and we are continuing our learning process and maintaining connection with us uninterrupted 24 into 7 mode in actual sense. So that's why this library is making this program for the first time at Vishwarati called Summer Connect program. Means we intend to make connection with the scholars, faculty members, with our research, ad recent advancement uh, on research and academic area. So as you found that last three days, first speaker was our Mahindra Ji from Informatics Publishing Private Limited. He's talking about Jagat Next, the new platform. Then our another speaker from international level, Professor Bodrul Huda Khan, who is supposed to be one of the noted personality in the field of e-learning, particularly educational instructional technology, uh, who is supposed to be a kind of twin citizenship, USA and then Bangladesh. Finally, third day was Mr. Binay Halam, a young guy who is much control on Grammarly package delivered by Total Lady Solution India Private Limited yesterday he has presented. And first two days video has already been uploaded in our web, uh, library YouTube channel. And today is the last part when I am just going to say something on drill bit. This is not the first time or new thing to the uh, drill bit in the academia. But the thing is that why during this Summer Connect program, I am going to highlight much on Drillbit simply because that Drillbit has a counter advancement from June 3rd onwards. On June 3rd, I am getting a message from Infinite. Basically, Infinite is the gateway of providing this software to all Indian higher educational institute as a mode of free service but the software is not actually the free. Software has been procured by the Ministry of Education through Infinet for all HEIs. And as we all are the member of HEIs, that's why we all are entitled to access and check our files. We put to submit our thesis through this software. From 1st October 2023, when this drill bit has been given to all HIs, that time there was no bar. Means, see, actually in academic practice or academic skill or academic publication, we wanted to mean thesis, dissertation, book publication, book chapter publication, journal article publication, then patent standards some other subject-specific publication. But these five, six are the core component of any academic output, right? But as a matter of human nature, many in Indian universities and higher education institute of India, we are using this software. I can say clerically, I can say most playing mode. And as a matter of fact, at the very tender time, the infinite asking in the tender to the vendor that Throughout the year, we will check, let's say, five block documents. But what they found that by six months, we are crossing the four lakh document. Means one lakh more is pending for another six months. By mathematical calculation, it is easily understood that by four, another six months, we require more four and half lakhs to proceed or to complete the complete cycle of the year like that. Therefore, the requirement is around 10 lakhs. But when we have procured only 5 lakhs, then they review the analysis report. Whatever checked by Vishwabharati, whatever checked by Banaras in the university, whatever checked by Delhi University and some other universities and institutes too. Then, alarmingly, or you can say surprisingly, they revealed that one particular file has been checked, particularly from Vishwabharati, 18 times. One particular file has been checked from 18 times through the software. Then the moment you are checking one particular file in 18 times means our quota is being filled up in 18 times. 
So other students, other scholars, other faculty members will not be able to rather say deviate to check 18 files. And one particular file in another way, checking 18 times, significantly escalate that the level of efficiency, the level of confidence of the scholar, of the teacher, or the public proposed input like that. So it's very poor quality of write-up, poor confidence of the scholar, poor confidence of the you know kind of faculty members. So on 3rd June, they sent a message to all of us, the service has been stopped. The service has been stopped. Then what happened? And the moment I am receiving the notification from the drill bit, I have already uploaded the notice on 3rd June into our university website. Into our university website. That is the 3rd June 2024 on stop PDS. This PDS full form is plagiarism detection services given by Infibnet through Dilbit platform, right? So this is the notification I have uploaded. This notification is available in the university web portal. Now let's check what is the software is going to speak on. See, this is the notification has been uploaded in the university and they asked me to go around this, some of the condition. I hope everybody, if you know, the screen, not the entire screen, the learn or the screen one is you know. Whiteboard screen two. So this is the, uh, you see, this is a kind of notification available in the university website. I will show the PDF file. Uh, once technical issues has been resumed, then I will show. Then this is the notification I have uploaded. Here, basically, the condition given by the internet is that one file cannot be checked multiple times. Second point is that only thesis and thesis related two or three publications can be checked through this drill bit gateway. And teachers are requested not to share the ID and password with the scholars because it's our common belief or understanding. You can say that one teacher cannot check a file 18 times like a foolish game. So sometimes the teachers, they are handed over the password and ID to the scholars. And by their curious nature, they are checking a file multiple times. And how this 18 times, it will be surprising, surprisingly to know that first chapter he has uploaded. Then second chapter, then third chapter, then fourth chapter, then fifth chapter, then appendix, then preliminaries, then all together, then three chapters together, then fourth chapter together. Like it's a mess. And when they send it to me, I found that how much a failure librarian I am holding the chair of Vishwadhyas librarian. It means, and during our online meet, they said that Dr. Saha, you are not capable. 
to orient your stakeholders. But as you see, at this moment, in spite of sending notification through university website, and today at the very dawn, maybe around 5.30 a.m. in the morning, I am sending at Vishwavarati more than 7,000 WhatsApp candidates. And throughout India, it may be another two and 3,000 uh, candidates to share. But you see in the online mode, altogether 25, 26 candidates have been joined. Why? At Vishwavarati, this year, total candidates is going to admit for PhD 206. Last year, it was 145. Then another year, it was 169 like that. So altogether, this is the scenario. So what I actually want to mean is that even though I or my team is very keen to propagate, to orient, to aware about the latest development and advancement on the issue, but my academics society is little bit in flipping mode on the issue, I'm very sorry to say. And that's why this summer tonic program I am arranging because 4th July ahead, university is going to resume its normalcy on academic activities. And I am sure the blasting pressure will come in my drill bit checking and candidates will do their practice again and again because my university notice page will be little back and we don't have much practice to go through the university notice page Forget about back debt. And I have a big question. How much of the Vishwarati scholars is aware about the Vishwarati University policy on plagiarism, which has been uploaded in the uh, 23rd of December in the year 2021. So this is the notification is being available in red color, uploaded from plagiarism policy in academics and research. Okay. So in this way, we have to consult our notification and in this notification you will be again surprisingly to know that just a minute to see uh, where i am actually stop sorry for the interruption and uh, please take it easy as part of the game see the major condition as given by the by the Inflipnet on 3rd January uh, 3rd June of 2024. From there, we have been just picked up a few major points and hang up a notice for our community, rather say Vishwarthi academic community. You see, here the first point is the first point is one particular file may not be checked multiple times then separate chapter of the thesis is strictly prohibited to upload and check through the drill bit. Separate chapter of the thesis is strictly prohibited to upload and check through the drill bit. The ID and password of the faculty members is not to be shared among the scholars to ensure proper use. At present, as communicated by Infinite, only thesis and thesis related publications may be checked by drill bit through PDS from Infinite. Last and final points, the checking by drill bit through PDS from Inflipnet will be resumed only after submission of undertaking by the university coordinator through proper channel on behalf of the Vishwarati in compliance with the guidelines given by the Inflipnet time to time in this regard. <coughs> then you see, what was the major guideline? You see, this is the mail copy, first June 2024, they have sent to me. And this is dear Dr. Nimaichan sir, as I am the university coordinator. They send me this message and there they have given many, many points. First one, plagiarism checks under Sud Suddhi is to be restricted only for PhD thesis and research articles and not for students assignment, students paper, question answer papers, seats or study learning material, etc. Access to college and their associated affiliated colleges and institutes are also restricted under this scheme. As for the huh? as per the policy guideline, only university teachers and PhD supervisor guides of the university are eligible for the PDS service. See, this is very clear. Then please note that as per the request of many institutes under this scheme, the users 
from old PDS, this is actually not required for you. Then, then the university coordinator is responsible for maintaining backup records. This is not for you. Then this one page plagiarism report or certificate needs to be uploaded with the Swadganga thesis and need to be submitted. That we have already followed. So these are the major points what have been given by the, uh, the InfluentNet to me. And this is that video link for user's guide. And this is the text file that is PDF link for user's guide, right? And if anybody need to contact with them directly, that is their mail ID. But it's better to go through the university coordinator. If you face any problem, let's intimate to me. Then if it is not reachable from my side or if, you are not, if I am unresponsive, or if you are not getting any response from my side, then better to go then. Otherwise, many a times they found that direct, if you contact with them, they found that university coordinator is not working properly and you may not have proper liaison or coordination with the university coordinator. So that's a kind of amateur mindset and that's created their problem uh, to address the issues, right? So this is the things. Then uh, let me come back again. Yeah. Uh, now you see on 20th, on, on 6th June, again, we have uploaded one notice after three days. The moment we have submitted the undertaking in compliance with their format through proper channel, here proper channel means I, on behalf of the Viswarovati, signed as coordinator of the university to the, to the uh, you know, conditions or you can say compliance or you can say condition. Then the same has been forwarded by the university authority that is registered. Then it has been submitted through mail. Once they have received it, then they have resumed our service. And I have to give the number of required documents which we need to check. It is by number. So they have given us at present 2,000 uh, units for checking. 2,000 units means 20 pages makes one unit. So. 40,000 pages we will check for another six months. But by these 24 days, today is the 21st, 21st days, we have already checked. You will be surprisingly to draw that 192 into 20 means 3,000, 4,000 pages we have already checked up. Out of 40,000 page for 180 days. By these 21 days, we have already checked 4,000 and more, even we are under summer. Even this notification, after redemption of this service, you will be surprising to know that one particular file has been checked eight times from this world. Then they sent a mail to me. Again, I sent a mail to the corresponding teacher, to the teachers rather. In three cases, we found that one file has been checked 11 times, one file has been checked eight times, one file has been checked four times. That four times file is student's assignment. Here it is categorically mentioned that student's assignment paper or project paper or master dissertation cannot be checked after the 6th June. Still it has been checked on 11th of June. So we are getting again threats from them and warning. Then they said, Nimaida, if it is record, then their account will be closed by them forever. Then who will suffer? Scholars will suffer. University will suffer. So my request to all of you folded hand, please use this platform very carefully, gently, with a mind that your wrong use may be the cause of another person deprivation of use of this. So please go in proper sense as I said. And then if you click this notification, then it will open another PDF which has been uploaded in the year 2021 in the university website, 23rd of December. This is what actually the university plagiarism policy is, right? So here you see the what is plagiarism, Basically, this has been co copy and paste from uh, EGC regulation 2020-2018. Okay, 31st of July 2018, EGC has enunciated this regulation and Bishwabharti has been accepted in the year 2021 in its academic council meeting 
And as a follow-up practice, it has been uploaded in the university website on 23rd of December, 21st. So this is the thing. But I am very, you can say, wondering that even after three years of the uploading of this regulation or notification, scholars are giving their declaration and you know kind of certificate from the guide in the traditional and older format or oldest format. So here we have already given what format you have to follow. You see, in the annexer one, these are all the conditions. Please read it. And during course research ethics class, I have said that this has been uploaded and take a printout in your research file so that whenever you found any problem, he will consult with this. This is the level Koushik also said during his teaching in the RPE class. I'm not going to repeat it. I'm just going to say added features or added condition only. This is, you see, annexer one, that is all undertaking for plagiarism verification. That is name of the researcher's faculty. This is undertaking for plagiarism verification by that candidate. In your case, it is knowing as declaration by the scholar right because before to sub uh see this is annex one let me jump up rapidly because my net is not so fast you see this format you need to copy and paste and i declare that the thesis so book research paper document can be removed has been prepared by me and that the thesis is my original work and free of any plagiarism or 3% or 4%, whatever report given by the software, you have to make it, edit and use. Then I also declare that the thesis has been duly checked through a plagiarism detection tools approved by the university. And the above thesis was scanned for similarity detection. The report is as follows. Software use delivered, date, the particular date when you will upload the paper, then similarity index, 3% or 4%, whatever has been given by the report, then total word count, whatever given by the report. So all these things you need to give. But you just check with the exam section or check with the department or check of a candidate scholar's copy, whatever submitted three months back or four months back, even after three years. It is a simple affair. I declared that the above thesis entitled doing my me maintaining regulation and others and having five points like that. So this is the latest format three years back given by the Vishwarati and Vishwarati scholars is not following these things. That is the basic research gap. You are reading a research gap. What I am find, find is that this is methodological gap. The, the, the format is being given by the industry authority and you are giving another old, you know, kind of certificate format or declaration format. So this is what actually called methodological gap, right? So do follow, take a copy and read carefully, then edit it to then this is the annex of two. This is the annex of two. This is the annex of two plagiarism exclusion certificate from supervisor. So you see those you have already submitted thesis. You check your guide certificate that is not entails with this format. So my scholars and faculty members, if any on the online board, please take a sincere note. Please compile with the regulation adopted by the Vishwarati for the Vishwarati PhD thesis. So please do it. This is my submission. And I am a little bit worried regarding my technical uh, network and its support, how much I will be able to show you the actual demonstration of drill bit 
because one file PDF file I'm not able to show you properly because of improper net. So you see, this is the actual format supervisor, post supervisor. And at the end, there is text recycling. Hope Kosik the stated about the text recycling or self plagiarism certificate by the author or co-authors. This is another format given by the uh, plagiarism policy of the university. So you see, this we need to. Sir, if there is any self plagiarism, I hope you are knowing much about self plagiarism cases. If it is not knowing to you during the special class of research publication ethics, I will repeat it on your asking question, right? But today I don't want to linger this part any much uh, because we have start the started the session little late, and I am very keen to show you the demonstration part of the drill bit, how to handle, how to check out this software, right? So this is the things. First thing I am just stating before you the latest guideline given by the internet. What is to be checked and what is not to be checked, and how it should be checked. One file cannot be checked in multiple times, and one file cannot be checked in scattered manner. I mean, first chapter, second chapter, third chapter, like that way. A piece of paper cannot be checked back because that makes no sense of uh, you know. Kind of cumulative percentage. If you will not get, then you will not be able to submit your thesis. If you wanted to check, to 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 review your confidence, better to go check this plagiarism through Grammarly package. Yesterday we have the Grammarly, and Mr. Vinay Halam rightly stated that within the Grammarly we have the added features to check the plagiarism. So with that plagiarism, you can check your research paper, you can check students' paper. And other things, and by Monday I will give you how this Grammarly you will install in your desktop on plugin mode, so that your offline you know kind of uh, MS Word version will be compiled with the English grammar, and at the very writing moment you'll be able to check the plagiarism and English quality writing. So he has sent me the link yesterday night, and in my desktop I have already installed last night. And I am just experiment to use it. If required, I can deal one special session on Grammarly to make you much orient as an alternative of plagiarism checking through Grammarly to save the drill bit as a safe zone in compliance with the guideline given by the internet. I hope I am able to make you clear about the basic rules and regulations supplied by the uh, UGC or internet for. Better use or efficient use of PDFs. So now let me quickly jump up. I'm a little worried uh, how much my net will help me to reach you. If it is, then fine. If it is not, then I will go by PowerPoint presentation slide to slide. But I shall not be happy enough to go by PowerPoint slide presentation one by one. That will make no sense. But okay, if technic uh, technology uh, betraying with me. So we will go by alternative PPT presentation, right? So let me check how is my net going on. Yes, uh, I think everybody is yeah. now showing. No. Huh? No. Huh? No. Yes, I think everybody can. Any online attendee respond whether my screen, Google.co in screen is visible to you? Through chat box or uh, voice message, please respond so that I will understand that you are able to see. Okay, okay. So you see. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. See, this is the Google. I am just going like a novice scholar, like a new scholar, like an innocent scholar. That Nimaida, how will I go through the drill bit when my teacher will be with me with ID and password? So you see, this is the Google page. Simple. Then you are supposed to write. See in the Google search box, you have to write drill bit, D R I W L B I T, drill bit, right? Then. See, this page will come. 
and this is the logo of the Dilbit software. This is the Dilbit logo, and this is its mother page. You just click here. Then this page will come, right? And at the right hand top bottom corner, you will found this get started. It's very self-explanatory, no need to demonstration. Still I'm saying, get started. You have to click over here. Then this page will come, welcome to deal with username and password. So you being a scholar, you may not have any ID and password. Right. Your teachers, your guide will have. Then your guide may say you, I don't have ID or I may forget password. What do I do? Right. So the answer will be said, you please put up your mail ID over here. And that is official mail ID, biswardi.ac.in. Right. Like mine case, N-I-M-A-I. C H A N D dot S A H S A at V I S V A V H A R A T I Vishwarati dot S C dot in. Right. Vishwarati dot S C dot in. Then you may click forget password. Right. You may click there is a forget password. I think you are seeing it. Right. The moment you are click in this forget password, system will send you one link to your account. Your account means here, your guide's account or teacher's account, whose mail ID you are using. It. Listen it very carefully. If your teacher is forget the password, then ask him to put his or her actual official mail ID over here. Then click the forget password, then go to his mail inbox, trash box or spam box. He will or she will receive a password reset link. He or she can click in the password reset link. Then he or she can use the new password, confirm password and able to log in. Clear. Then, if it is not, if system is saying there is no account at all, please have a call to me or a mail to me. I will check from my side whether during opening his or her account, if any spell error from my side. Because I am a human, I might have some error from my side to open your account. And sometimes in older version, your uh, account was against Gmail, Rocketmail, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, like that, like senior teachers, right? But this little bit is exclusively applicable for Visualogy Mail ID, not for Gmail, Rocketmail, Hotmail. So I experienced these things. Then when I found, I found, oh yes, Nimaida's mail ID is there, his account is there, but he is not getting. That time when I check, I found that his earlier mail ID was gmail.com. Now this Dilbit is saying this world. So that moment I will open a separate account using this world, the mail ID of that particular teacher. And by a moment he will receive the mail and ID password will be there, right? So this is the issues. How can one teacher will get ID and password? I think there is no doubt at all, right? Now, as I have my password at this moment, let me type over here. Then click sign in. See. This is the page. Now, as I am admin, I have twin. Net is the mouse. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you You see switch account, as I am an admin, I am just showing you. You see, this is the Vishwarudhi page. 
as a whole, as I am the university coordinator. Out of the 7,600 of our total capping, we have already finished 5830. It means we will have more 1,800. You need to check. 1,800 into 20 pages means 3,620 pages we are in our hand for another five and a half months. It's very least. And you see how we are clerical use in the month of May. Only a month of May, we have checked 18.62 units. It means by the July month, we will finish our course. So in the last month, uh, I mean May, it was the highest pillar is showing 18.62 units we have checked. And it was May of checking. Whomsoever, whatever paper, they have checked it, right? So this is the things. And after the notification in the June now, it is 230 unit. We have already finished. 230 unit means around 4,600 pages we have completed of checking. So this is how or what I am just going to open before you so that you will be clearing enough about the using of DILBIT. Who knows that somebody who is supposed to uh, submit his or her thesis at the end of the November, at that time we may not have the checking facility. So that candidate will suffer a lot. Who will take the responsibility for our re-registration? For this non-availability of the software, the candidate may suffer. So I again, very elderly, fervently request you to use this platform very, very economically, judiciously, and in a disciplined manner, so that your fellow scholar, your fellow colleagues, fellow friend, will not suffer from any pain. Those who are admitting this year or last year or second last year, they are not much worried about that because they are not going to submit this year or next year. But the candidate, those who have registered during 20 or 21, who are verge of submission, please, I am requesting repeatedly, help me to avoid any untoward or cumbersome or difficult situation in terms of checking any file to delete, right? Now let me switch over. Being a switch my account as you well. Yes, this is the account after opening. Nothing will be there as you are showing here. T, M, A, P, like that, four folders or file, whatever you are saying, these files will not be there when you will open first your account or your teacher's account. We, it will be just vacant. This body will be vacant because I have checked during my teaching classes, it's showing. Okay. Now, your question will be, Nimaida, please show us how can we proceed to upload a file which is my basic issues on the software, right? You have to click folder. The moment you will click over here, in the right bottom corner, there is a blue plus signal. Blue plus signal in the right. You see this is, I hope everybody is able to see the right blue plus at the right bottom corner. This signal, you need to click. The moment you click over here, it will ask you or allow you to create a folder. You can take the name of the folder with the scholar's name or with the project name like that. Here I say, I can give a name like TA. I have already typed but it's not coming. T-A-N-I-A. -A. With this name, I wanted to open one file. Let's assume that I am her guide and she is doing work under my guidance. And I wanted to check her thesis related publication or thesis. So that is her name. Then, the first option is exclude reference public bibliography. 
would you like to exclude reference and bibliography from the similarity percentage my answer will be yes because reference and bibliography is not under the purview of plagiarism right so that is by egc regulation it is exempt then exclude quotation yes if you take any earlier publications and use quotation or paraphrasing that can be exempt subject to you are supposed to use the quotation and giving in text citation and referencing as i said repeatedly during my classes in the research publication ethics right now the third option is exclude small source yes here posing the also say you that exclude small source means exclude small source means as far as ngc guideline is concerned 14 consecutive word is exempted from the plagiarism the moment it will come as 15th word in a single line then that will be counted as plagiarism it means if i am having 14 or less than words of similarity i mean copy from another publication that cannot be counted as plagiarism so that can be exempted so that is why i am noting over here as yes exclude small source then exclude phrase if you have used any phrase in your thesis maximum 15 phrasal words or phrasal two three consecutive words you are entitled to get exemption so that if you click yes you see this drop down menu is become you have to note down the phrasal word like in his case history of art history of art i can use as phrasal term in your case economics rural economics rural development a hard case anthropology someone says biology 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 or lab technique or art studio or ssp spss kind of any software thing that you can give a kind of phrasal term so that machine will ignore when it check and give the similarity percentage so if you have any phrase you can give yes and you need to write down here type down here the exact phrase and maximum 15 phrase you are supposed to add you see here add phrase add phrase is option is there in the blue color add phrase by that way you are maximum 15 phrase you can add clear so at this moment if i am not using any i can give no and then exclude email notification i don't want it to receive any notification of drill bit to my mailbox if i wanted to have i can give here yes if i know no so it's option to you you can so what i learn first three by default will be yes first three option during creation of any folder first three option by default in compliance with the egc regulation and in compliance with the research methodology blindly you can tick yes right the fourth one is up to you if you have any phrase maximum 15 phrase you are supposed to allow you can give yes or no as the case may be on your write up it may be research publication or it may be thesis it may be book chapter whatever it is but book chapter or research publication uh, article publication at this moment is not supposed to check over here because of limitation of the number of checking no other issues right and then last one is notification if i wanted to have email notification of uh, from gilbit then i can mark yes or i can mark no so first three will be yes and last two fourth and fifth will be yes or no depending upon my choice and requirement clear so let's say last three, for fourth and fifth i am marking as no then okay the file what i am just going to check my similarity from which my file will be checked what are the different options by default all are yes you also put all are yes what are those student paper yes my thesis need to check out of any student paper if there is any similarity i need to add here so that will be yes journal and publishers of course that must be yes internet or web resources of course that need to be checked any institutional related yes that need to be checked because these are the several areas 
or that anyone's publication is being dumped up or is being uploaded or rather say are being available. So everything will be yes. So out of nine option during creation of the folder, first three will be default yes, fourth and fifth will be yes or no depending upon your choice and requirement and compare against database all by default yes. I hope it is clear to you all. The moment it is fine, then you can click the submit button here at the bottom blue color, right? So yes. You see here one folder named Tanya has been opened at the top and the date and time of the opening is being given over here. Clear? Now you can say Maida, I am just, you have wrongly spelled out my name, my name uh, maybe T double A N I, maybe. So you need to edit. How okay. can here it is the edit option. Or if you wanted to delete, this is the delete option, right? This is the delete option at the menu. Oh, mouse down Amazon is that same. Okay. Anyway, the meet option is the delete option. At the meet, it is delete. And this pencil signal is the edit symbol. So if I click the pencil signal, at the phone, we can get Jami icon, we can get that. Okay. Huh? That's the problem. I say, you got to do mouse mouse so good. Say, I'm a touch pad. A word would say, net a slow zone. A you click edit as the funny for it. Can that give you a problem? See. This eight as our system is like a Johanna show. Yes. Now that page, whatever I have opened, the name of uh, with the name of Tanya, the folder is being again open. So I have every right to change. Yes, no, or this spelling of Tanya. Maybe you just see, I am giving one more A. Then I am coming at the bottom. Edit folder. You will found that at the bottom. Now see, T A N I double A. Earlier it was single. So folder creation. I think it's clear to all of you. Now, I wanted to upload my thesis file with this Tanya folder. So double click. Then I am inside the Tanya folder. Clear. Yeah. You see at the bottom, it is showing dashboard, my folder, then Tanya. Means I am now inside the Tanya folder. Now I wanted to upload my file. Again, at the right bottom corner, this is the You see, then usually what happened, one thesis can be typed or written in regional language. Santali, Assamese, Bengali, Odia, Tamil. So for them, it is regional, right? Then English at the bottom called non-English. Uh, this is English, this green color. And at the top, non-English means all other foreign languages, except English. Why English is because, uh, focused separately? Because 95% of the world education system the communication language is English. So that's why they are giving English as a separate highlight. And others means all other foreign languages, German, Russian, like that, many languages. So let's say I am giving in English. Now, see this screen will come. And here, 
you are not supposed to ask me remind the what kind of file format is being acceptable to drill bit to upload no need to ask me it is there it will be screen the boro kora jay are ekটু ghola ghola lag da amar chobi kina jay na right bas bas o sei gula ba theke you see file formats pdf doc docx txt dotx dot pptx xlsx and 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 that it is there now to upload the file browse your file here or i can plus sign play so browse your file over here it is usual practice that my file will be in the desktop or in the pen drive or in external hard drive or in the google drive somewhere it is so i have to click browse file then i have to give uh, check uh, take a file from let's say one dummy file let me check anything let me this is what file okay you see here it is one file you just pay your glance these two prospectus this is the name of the file is being uploaded over here and the moment it is being uploaded at the bottom some options is being given you see what are those that is author's name my need here author's name mean the name of the scholar name of the contributor okay so here you need to clearly spell out your name and this title means this is title paper title this is like a paper title so that you need to copy and paste don't try to type over here because if there is any mistake in the certificate your title of the thesis will come in mistake format and that cannot be recovered right so this can be better copy and paste you have the word file so take copy and paste then document type if you click over here document type what are what are the type of your document you need to choose thesis research paper and there are many options at the bottom so that cannot be because it's a big size screen so it's not visible but thesis and some others options are being there so we will choose the thesis then guide email account if i am your guide then my email means nimaichand.sai@resource.ac.in ekta message dilo kiya jabe donate koi kiya kiroba koi ekdom just question let let likhi dijiye sir this is save to kiya okay uh, i will take the answer of the questions whatever available in the check box a chat box you are post your question in the chat box i will take answer at the end okay so this is the uh, uh, guide's email account and guide name that you need to clearly spell it out right so this is over the moment you will fill it up i am not fill it up because i have already occupy one unit i don't want to miss you any one particular unit right so once i up, submit it it will be submitted this is the basic discourse of uploading a file in the drill first one we need to open a folder there are nine options first one we need to give a name of the folder then first three option by default i ask you to give yes fourth and fifth i ask you on your choice you can be yes or no as the case then checking from higher all the four option you will mark as yes fine submit the folder folder will be created then within the folder if you upload a file double click on the folder then come at the bottom right corner blue plus sign click there then you will be asked to choose your language format of the file regional language non english and english you have to choose english or as the case may be the moment you will choose the english or language you will be given this window where you are supposed to upload your file from the mother location that is browse your file over here so if you click over here it will ask you to search your file position if you select the file and upload it then it will be showing like that the moment it is over then you are supposed to fill up this five field 
name of the scholars, name of the thesis or title of the thesis, then document type. Here it will be research article or thesis name, uh, research thesis, right? Then guide email account and guide name. Then you submit. Means my file submission business is over. Clear? Now, let me go the Let me go. Yes, this is the folder. Let me check that after uploading, my report is being become. And once your report become, see here in the three X name one folder, I have three different file, right? One file percentage is showing. I hope you are able to see my screen that 11%, 10%, and 0%. You see 10 and 0, this is live green signal. Means it is passing. This is ready to submit as far as the EDC rules is concerned. Then 11% uh, is little YOLO, light YOLO. Means it's ready to submit, but little bit you need to tune. Right? So this is you need to open and try to find it out whether the actual similarity is the plagiarism. Because you see, machine will not give you the plagiarism percentage. It is giving the similarity. Many a times we found that this similarity is not the plagiarism. If this similarity is not the actual plagiarism, then you have every right to magnify your percentage. And once you check, you will do it on screen. You are not supposed to check this file twice, twice, multiple times. So that is what, again, I am saying this, again, research methodology is checking methodology. The people those who are knowing how to magnify my percentage or similarity to bring the actual percentage of plagiarism, they are checking one file multiple times. And? Do you see software that you have to check No. If, if, if it is there, then I will show you how can we magnify the percentage. Now you see, if you deliberately, even though there is 11%, if you deliberately make it 0% online, then that is called manipulation. That is a suicide idea. Because system saying that you have 11% similarity, it may be that 11% is the plagiarism. But deliberately, as you are the human intelligence, you have control over the machine system, you can make, no, no, these are not the plagiarism. No, no, no. Then it will come 0%. You are downloading the report, submit the thesis, you are getting a word. Then after serving 20 years, somebody in your field may lodge a complaint that this candidate thesis is taking my thesis copy or my article copy, but not giving me proper citation and other things. And this thesis is percentage not the actual. On that way, the service of our Honorable Vice Chancellor Pondicherry Central University in the year 2017 removed from his chair and he is stuck off. His entire service has been stuck off. And during the RPE class, as I said from a paper cutting, most likely Norway, government education minister, is being removed from his ministership because of plagiarism. I think you might recall it. Because soon after that day, I have that class. And I am saying this. And all the Indian people like me, those who are dealing with this advancement of research methodology, the message has come to my inbox. Prakosaha, this is Norwegian case. So that's the thing. So don't do anything, manipulation inside the percentage of similarity. If it is actual plagiarism, let it be remain. You need to rely on your area. Then you magnify. So this is 2M, magnification and manipulation. If it is maintaining by grammar, that is called magnification. If it is doing by intentionally, without complying the methodology, it is called manipulation. Right. Then let me show you how can I customize or magnify the percentage from 11% to lower. Right. 
then you need to click over here this percentage button right since it is bigger percentage i am showing you this see this is the in the right hand panel you have the thesis text or your write up text and in the left hand panel at the top as you see that 11% is the cumulative similarity and at the bottom of the 11% there are several url from 1 to at the end i don't know how much it is let's go down maybe more than 50 different urls less than 1% less than 1% is very least and somewhere you may found that, let me see, this role in culture, cultural. Do you found it is a plagiarism? Tell me from your sense. No, I don't found this is a plagiarism. Role in cultural, everybody has the right to write it. Then the advancement of, how can this mean? You are laughing. The use of is not only, this is a common, formatting structure of writer. So it will come. Then you understood that this is Nimaida, this similarity is not the plagiarism from your common sense. And after three and a half years when you are going to make up your thesis, you will be more than master on me on the content part. So then your question to Nimaida, this advancement of is not only from where this actual source. You have 54 source in the left hand panel which is the particular source of this similarity. So you see, there are different color. One is, uh, you see, shed, then pink, like that. So you click in this color, anyone. You see, at the left-hand panel, there is an orange color mark. You see, I am clicking over here, and at the left-hand panel, you just pay your attention. You see, second, number second. So in the second, I found that this should be unchecked. This is not the plagiarism. This is mere similarity, right? So I need to mark it. And you see, the moment I am, one I am marked, here there is a exclude option in the green color. Exclude. This word is not readable to you from the screen, but it is actually exclude, right? Exclude. Means this source I need to exclude from the similarity, means similarity percentage will be calmed down, lowered down. Then that will be the actual plagiarism in the same fashion. Again, this pink color, the cultural heritage of a, the identity of a particular. So you click here, this is the number one. Let me again check. You see number one, right? So this, right? Let me take the example of these two. I think these two sources is mere similarity, not the plagiarism, clear? Now I need to exclude it. Percentage is becoming six because that two was three and three. Six percent, maybe in cumulative it is maybe five percent impact value, impact percentage, so six percent. Now let's say assume that my percentage is fine. Or since it is below 10%, it's ready to submit. So I can now take the downloaded of the certificate to submit my thesis. Right. Then your question will be, how can I download the certificate? Now, every color you need to check by your own human intelligence and subject expertise. Every, every. All the 54. All the 54. No, that, that color does not make any significant. That color does not make any significant. As you said, the contextual sequence uh, is significant. No. It is just mere color. 54, 54 color is not possible. So some deep light, deep light. But that is not on the basis of that 3%, uh, 4%, 11%, deeper color. color. Yeah. That may not. Even if it is there in the system, you may not pay attention on your mind. You have to go by your 
intellectual subject sense because after all this is the final judgment right system may have some fault it do not blindly depend on the system's report right so clear now you see quickly come up this printer symbol my pointer you follow me and those who are in the physical you see this is the printer signal printer icon okay you click over here you see bisor the logo and bisorvarati certificate of plagiarism checking for synopsis this is not a synopsis maybe this is a synthesis so at the bottom by default it is synopsis selected so thesis is here you see at the top in the blue color border at the left hand it is synopsis then dissertation then third one thesis then article so i have to click thesis you see this synopsis will be thesis i think i hope you have witnessed the change this thesis right okay let me check it is article say it is article now so the header of the certificate you need to decide on the basis of your content nature it may be thesis it may be synopsis this may be article it may be dissertation right so here it will be thesis third one clear now something will be pre decided whatever i have uploaded during file uploading the name of the candidate that is you see tunga sharma and saha right so this is our co authored paper so that's why we have given the surname of the three and it is a class checking file not the final checking file so had it been final checking file we have to give the all the three names or maybe first name only corresponding author's name first author that is enough then you see course of study since it is a thesis you should give course of study the type here it is deleted then it may be phd right then in the next box type here it is editable format here name of the guy maybe dr nimai chand saha right then department maybe library and information science then acceptable limit ten percent as per English and Mr. Rajesh rules over and. at the bottom you see it is predefined whose mail id from it has been uploaded your guide mail id then the this is a paper title you see it is pre decided if you have been wrongly typed there now it will come here and this is uneditable this is uneditable it is pre decided that's why i am saying during uploading the particular file don't try to type the art thesis article even capitalization punctuation may be identified so that cannot be used so this is then 6% and paper id everything is there hello let's see or everything is there right now here is a signature of the student and signature of the guide student means scholar so and there is no need of signature of the head of the department at bisavarathi there is no need of sign thesis by the head of the department so that has been deleted then student you may write here s c h o l a r scholar in foreign country european country all are student but in indic pattern asian pattern we are saying scholar somebody scholar is not there i am a scholar somebody came to me from bisvarathi nimai da i am a scholar but he is a student i ask you can edit on right so you can give name of this scholar not only that
you can give a enter and then you can give here your name maybe s u b r a t a subroto das then i can sign so that my name name will be clear readable likewise signature of the guide accordingly co guide you can add name of co guide so two names you can add and then teacher will sign it's looking very nice then at the bottom when it is ready i am not due to paucity of time i am not saying all these thing it print you can take a print get signature scan paste in the dvd and in the print copy thesis whatever your print copy thesis is the replica will be in the dvd so that it will be submitted in the soft copy because after that hour that dvd will come back to the library to upload your thesis in the soft copy so whatever will receive your thesis in the dvd form we will upload it we will not compare with the print copy to soft copy because i am not the subject expert so if you have this you may give in the print version but not the online version that is your fault you have to give print as well as soft copy so that it will be uploaded in the soft gomna and so that global citizen will be able to view your performance of plagiarism clear so this is the certificate issues and another thing is that if you wanted to before taking print up print out if you wanted to check with the chat you can what you can do is that This is a QR code. If you scan this QR code on your mobile, the certificate will come to your mobile. You can take a check. After two days, you can take a print out. If there is anything, right? So this is the QR code. Now. your question may be nimaida how do i get the word count because as you showed that i need to write in my declaration number of words in my thesis check through the drill bit how do i get it you have to click this icon file information submission details see folder name submission dates and time title paper id document type file name file size character count how much character was there in your thesis that has been 45180 word count 6573 in this case total sentence how much sentence is there in your thesis then total pages 17 then total lines how much lines in your thesis 611 even if i am giving you 3 months time to give me this count from your thesis you will sleep and ask me nimaida please relieve me from that count i will give you 5000 rupees you please hire a people to get it done so system is giving you this kind of thing in a single page clear then your question will be nimaida how can i download the report you are saying so i asked the certificate but i wanted to download the report this is the down arrow key the down arrow key is the download then this is the pdf just make to screen touch choto kalo here my first type pdf ha yeah this is a pdf format so i can download the report in pdf format see how nice the report is
now it is downloaded see this is the downloaded report okay again here you see two pie charts you see six percent similarity and exclusion percentage will also be showing here you see five percent is showing over here that i have exclude five percent it means total percentage was 11 six is given and five i have minus or magnifying so total is this and i have quotation excluded bibliography excluded same uh, small source excluded so whatever i have excluded that is there and from where i have checked that is also yes means during creation of the folder whatever option i have opted it has clearly been listed right here so this is what actually called the transparency nothing is hiding and if you wanted to have this report in your mobile right this qr code scan and you will have this pdf report in your mobile right then another beauty is that go to the second page you see this is the a class report a grade report right math source now 14 similarity 6% and ugc grading is a for 0 to 10% b for 11 to 40% and so on so forth right it's giving and that 14 uh, source has been enlisted over here you see These two sources have been excluded, right? So if you wanted to have to maintain more clarity, transparency of thesis writing, I suggest you to give these three pages to along with the signed certificate. So that nobody will ask you anything. Because whatever percentage I have magnified, that is also being recorded and revealed over here. And if it is becoming less than 10%, no need to exclude any percentage. So there will be no excluding percentage. Whatever 8% may be, may be. please be remained at 8%. So this 3%. Then what stands? Your declaration will be the first page. Second page will be the certificate from the system. And third, fourth, fifth, these three pages, or sometimes maybe four pages, sometimes maybe two pages, these two or three pages may be given there. So these four or five pages is my Research ethics satisfactory evidence. Research ethics satisfactory evidence in quantity or quantification evidence. Right? This is the quality kind of certification because quality need to be given by the HR. Right? And then the bottom of the pages, rest of the thesis part, you see. You see that matching on different color, as she said, on different color, and that number is there so that you will understood which color stands for which particular number of source, like an in-text citation. So nice it is. You see, every color has a separate number. 14 numbers, 14 color will be here. Clear? Now let me show another features. Uh, it is the uh, oh, sorry. So we have already experienced or witnessed the certificate, then file submission, then download. Then this is the settings. In these settings, in a particular file folder, you have multiple files to upload and check. And the same condition may not be applicable thesis to research article. So you need to have a separate condition for a particular separate file. Let's say this exclude quotation in this uh, file, I do not want it to exclude. I don't want it to mark here no. Then, certificate, uh, then percentage may be higher, may be lower. Means this setting is for 
within a particular folder, within a particular folder, there are many files. For a particular file, if I wanted to customize any particular option of exclusion or inclusion, that can be done from here. Otherwise, that folder will be static of option for all the files within the folder. If you wanted to customize that static option for any particular file, this is the position from where you can make yes to no, no to yes, as the case may be. Right? You see, percentage is going to be changed, maybe or may not be. You see, it is already figuring. Now see, 13%. See, percentage is now 13. Earlier it was 11. So within these things, we can check up. Exclude small source. 3% again will be more. You see, if I make it yes. Now it is 17%. Means that bibliography, that small source, that uh, uh, one more thing that is called a small source bibliography and uh, quotation. These three things altogether, 6% lesser. Otherwise, original percentage would have been 17%. Since that 6% by law is not the plagiarism that can be ignored by the system from my setting option. Clear? So this can be done from the setting option. Uh, better, it should be yes. Should be yes. Should be yes. See, percentage will be 11. This mathematics, minus 12. If you making 3 plus 14, 3 minus, it will come 11. Now, Another is that this less than symbol means sharing symbol. If you wanted to share this file to anybody else to mail, then this share option. And this envelope is also a mail sharing option. See, if I'm your guide, I wanted to send this report to you through mail, I will write here your mail ID, then send button will be activated and now it is blur it will be activated and i can click the send you will get the report through mail right and then this is the qr code of the report scan it and go away to catch the santanathan express train because downloading time may be much because techno threads we are living within the techno threads right so this is and this is the last but not the least. That bit of coin, pool of coin. This is actually called repository of drill bit icon. The moment you are getting final, yes, my thesis checking is complete. I have taken print out. My guide has signed. I am going to submit it. Then you ask your teacher to open the report file and submit it to Repository of drill bit. What is the impact of depositing your file to the repository file? Because from your submission to get aware or to get Shod Gonga uploading, it will on average take eight to nine months, maybe one year or so. By that time, rest of the world may not be in sitting mode or static mode. What and research progress will be going on, going on. Within a year, you see how much file will be checked in the drill bit from India? N number of files may be checked. Who knows that identical work in your particular field done by another, another candidate from any country, from India, any university. Then, though your, article, though your thesis has not yet been awarded and that has not been available in the Sotbanga public domain, means published you will get citation from the drill bit link. And that is actually called, I think many of you may recall it during my presentation. And whenever I'm getting for any selection committee meeting, 
I asked PhD doctoral candidate, do you know what is called zero period citation? Or print citation possible or impossible? 99.9999, even senior academician, they said it is impossible. But it is possible. This is the reality. This is called preprint citation. Preprint means in case of thesis pre award, in case of books or journal article, in some cases, if you submit a journal article to Springer Nature, it may take one year and more. By that time, if anybody else doing some similar kind of work, you may get citation, even if you do not know it. So this is the thing, how we will market our citation, how we will enhance our research marketing. So I think it's enough. Uh, almost last, last but not least, this is AI. This software is also checking through AI. Here, this paper is written from 3% AI. How is it? See, these are the three areas where the candidates taking the assistance from AI, copy and paste. And because of this, I am not allowing them to submit the paper in any other place. If please edit it, I will be satisfied. Otherwise, you delete my name, then you will submit. Okay. This is actually G20 Library Summit, one international seminar paper, but I don't ask them or allow them to submit the paper. You see? You see, this is the para, this blue area, hence community center, public libraries. I asked them, they admit it said, yes, actually I am using this para from one AI. So this is, right? So this is the similarity from AI. But till today, neither government of India, neither Vishwavaruti has any findings on AI percentage. Like failure in percentage, it is failed. But in case of AI, it is not. So at this stage, you may not bother about these things. But during RPE classes, as I said, during your submission, 27 or 28 or 26, this rule may become. And I think this may become at the dawn of 26, that AI percentage guidelines will become. So with this, no formality, this is a just dry presentation and demonstration, you can say. And I don't think it's go for uh, dealing with any further, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation or anything. And I don't think there is much scope to have any more questions still. If you have any questions, participants are allowed to unmute yourself and raise your voice so that I can interact and I can uh, respond to your answer. Because uh, many of you might get your answer of the question. One question from uh, Monisha Rao, sir, what does it mean by no separate chapters can be uploaded as cited in the office order? Does it mean thesis is allowed to be uploaded? Yes, it means, see, this is a question. It means that your thesis may have seven chapters. You are not supposed to upload seven chapters separately. Rather, you are supposed to upload your thesis seven chapter in a compact file, in an amalgamated file, in, an, in a conjugated file, so that from page one introduction to page 229 till conclusion, it will be a single file, right? Not that several different file and that futile or scattered percentage will make no sense of your plagiarism level. I hope it is enough to respond to your question. Uh, sir, sir actually, uh, sorry to interrupt. Actually, the main thing was uh, under that also uh, references will be there. So that will be uh, like uh, it will be increasing the plagiarism percentage. So that's why this question was there. 
no no actually like, uh, no in entire uh, document no need no need to ask this question i think those who have attended my rp classes and other issues properly they got this answer properly if you you used to make complicated from your side then it will be complex otherwise it's very clear bibliography and reference as i showed during creation of folder it is exempted so what is the need of chapter reference or chapter bibliography at the end of bibliography there is no need your thesis might have reference your thesis might have bibliography so that can be during creation of folder you will mark it exempted so that will not come in the significant percentage of similarity right then sir what does it mean by no separate chapters can be uploaded as a same same question and monisha if you are this scholar of bisvaruti if you are not getting proper answer of this please meet me physically during opening of the uh, campus i will be uh, kind enough to respond your question and make you understood and if you are the scholar of this year clear, uh, sir it is clear yes, now sir thank you thank you oh, sir okay then thank you then next next question any more if we check the thesis by not clear to me the question upl i am i think it is upload. incomplete upload or something there but it's not clear to me said the file has to be ms word can it be pdf or checking i have already given the answer within before the uploading there is different file formats mentioned in the drill bit inbox so go there and you will found out the answer of the question there are almost all the formats is there then if we check the thesis by uploading once does it get retained in the software database no as i said the moment you will not submit the the, the thesis in your repositories within the icon bitcoins pull up the coins then it will not be taken by the software in its repository you have to submit in the repository then only it will, it will take the uh, deposition to the repository but it, i recommend you to get the zero period citation or preprint citation or pre awarded citation it's better to submit once it's final then you now clarified sir oh, yeah money money sir thank you so i think there is no much questions uh, three those who, those of you any question i don't think there is no much questions and uh, the session was running and hangover through different problems firstly it was late i was not usually or habituated to go by any lead but of course uh, sharp 11 it was only 5 11 10 it was 15 11 20 it was 18 part participants so considering the quantity of participants i don't found a good number of participants so that's why lead is being squashed over there and technical glitches you know is not within the control of any human being since a technical glitch was there in mid of my presentation Three four minutes it was lapses. So all together thirty minutes our session was threatened to me. But I have tried to to conduct the session without threatening to you and without gapping anything. In Bengali it is called. I am going to fake it. It is Chinese. I am Chinese. It is that. Our brother, no, it is all about it. I am not dictating. I don't have uh, no uh, gap to make it demonstrate. So thank you very much. Now let me hand over the the the. microphone to my colleague dr sabahar for next proceedings of this session uh, sir excuse me sir if you kindly allow who is oh, oh, please uh, yes, introduce sir uh, yes sir uh, sir uh, the beyond chapters like uh, we have got uh, uh, this uh, certificate and, uh, sir i am okay. manisha raut uh, sir uh, like uh, we used to write one preface or something so should that also be included in our file or we should exclude it sir can you repeat the question well, sir in our thesis the first uh, thing that we write is a preface acknowledgement part so should that be included in the file while uploading it or no, should no, we exclude better not to better not to better okay not okay to. sir i have already given the answer from introduction to conclusion 229 pages i have pointed outly mentioned that ji, from ji, chapter 1 to chapter 8 i mean introduction to conclusion including reference and bibliography or excluding reference and bibliography that's up to you it will be a running compact conjugated amalgamated one single file having running page number right thank you proceed thank you sir for a very informative uh, session
and uh, nice. fruitful discussion on the topic. In spite of being a top ranking administrative position and holding many chairs under different committees of the university, our today's speaker, uh, Dr. Nimai Chansa, university librarian, he is the coordinator of National Digital Library, Drillbit, uh, Research Publication Ethics, PhD coursework. And uh, in spite of being delayed in the, due to other program and technical faults, the audience, both national, international, online and offline, remain intact to the program, waiting for the presentation. It shows how eagerly we were waiting for his uh, deliberation. And this helpful step-by-step -step demonstration in a balanced way, brief introduction to the drill bit, how and why of drill bit, the university protocol and formalities highly required for the scholars and faculties alike were dealt very honest way. His deliberate presentation to help the student and scholar to come up with the plagiarism nightmare. So since there all the question and answers has been discussed, May I request our university librarian, who is the uh, main brainchild on uh, behind this Summer Connect program on the academic skill, for a brief uh, conclusion of the four-day program. Sir, please. Actually, what is asking me 1.30. Just four minutes adds to 1.30, and it's Summer Connect program. Empty stomach, full of sentence, make no sense. So that's why in a very brief conclusion, I can say that I'm very happy, not by quantity of participants, but by quality of attitude of little number of participants. And I found that many of our senior professors, uh, right from Professor Swadham Sekhar Maiti to Minalda, then uh, yeah, some uh, Atikurda and uh, some other professors in different days, based on their choice of topic, they have attended and extended necessary cooperation to me to stage up this program. And uh, my, my, my uh, invited speakers, two from the different publication agency and one from USA, and also from, uh, he is actually twin uh, residential status on uh, citizenship from Bangladesh also, Professor Badrul Huda Khan, who is beyond 70, and who is the founder of e-learning in Asian uh, USA countries, and also having several issues. And in spite of having his occasion at the Bangladesh one religious occasion, still he has rented one, uh, you can say lodge or accommodation hall to get the fine network and to address my university academics and allow his video recording to upload in the in the Vishwadi Library YouTube channel. So all these things, as I found, and all the sessions are very much interactive. Participants are very attentive. And from first day to day last, as I found many questions, many participants, they are very eager to interact with us. From that, I can say as librarian, that I am very enchanted, encouraged, motivated, that this Summer Connect program, this its aims and objectives fully and a grand success. And I am really motivated to record this problem in the next year summer to have more program in different issues with the senior professors of the university so that our research methodology culture, our interdisciplinary culture, our multidisciplinary research project in compliance with the uh, uh, NEP 2020 model will be come around and escalate and our research support service will be figured properly and our you can say uh, our scholar stock will take place going to take place on 27th of this june and this is happens to my mind that for the first time in any indian university that a talk for this scholar by this scholar with these scholars i am just going to start these scholars as part of research support service or dissertation cell that my scholars will speak on his or her particular research area or any common research area to address the basic aims and objective of this program is that scholars will get a dais to share his views and some other scholars will get the motivation to get the courageous how to present, how to prepare the PowerPoint presentation. And finally, 
the smartness on speaking before the audience will reach out so that before his pre-submission or pre-submission, he or she will read and learn how to present before the good gatherings, a paper, a lecture, a session, and how to conduct. That is why they will also conduct, they will also coordinate the program. And that is why my uh, tagline will be talk for this scholar, by this scholar, with this scholar. And my teacher showcase, our library showcase will be backbenchers to help them from all regards to give the platform, to give the infrastructure, to give the techno support so that they will feel that it is our university, it is my university, and I will get a value added research uh, at the Viswarthi or from the Viswarthi. This is my submission, and I'm really acknowledge the, the participants and all other resource persons and my teammates, joint coordinators, and my technical support team, particularly Jishnu, and my uh, professional colleagues from the library, those who have joined this session today, yesterday, day before yesterday, and day before three yesterday. So from day one to day four, all they have participated. I think this session was success a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So we come to the concluding session of the four days program that is uh, with the vote of thanks. I would like to thank all the four uh, resource person, uh, Sri Mahindra Sarkar, Professor Badhul Huda Khan, Mr. Binoy Halam, and our university librarian, Dr. Nimai Chan Saha for conducting such a beautiful program. And uh, we are eagerly waiting for such program in the future also. We are thankful all the international national uh, scholars offline uh, as well as online. And we are thankful to the all the technical staff and uh, professionals. Thank you one and all. So we are now with your permission. Let us now close. Now it is dot 1.30. So let us now close our online meeting and this video lecture uh, will be made available in the uh, YouTube channel. Monday onwards. So thank you very much. We'll connect for July onwards. Thank you very much.